up everyone so we have yet another motor to try out huge shout out to pn racing who sent me their uh, sex 24 90 turn ball bearing 130 motor you can see it right there this looks like a really nice brushed motor they also sent their pinion and spur kit this comes with a 64 pitch 41 t spur and it also comes with a 10, 11, and 12 tooth pinion. So that's nice, you can pick your gearing with this. And then we also have their motor mount here. So I'll pull that out real quick so we can get a look at it. So I'll make sure we get all the screws together. So here's the mount itself. Here's the part the motor goes on. This will mount in here like that with some screws on the side. So we're going to look at so how yeah. this does on a couple lines on the course here with the uh, stock motor set up and everything in here. And then I'll time lapse installing all of this and we'll try it again on the same spot. So for comparison, let's run this stock on a couple lines and then we'll see how it does with the uh, PN Racing 90T130 motor. We'll also see how the uh, center of gravity compares versus stock. Nice. Now let's see if it can follow the same line that the deadbolt did. One more time. Not quite the same line. Right. Last one here. Let's see if we can go up this. Not looking like we have enough front weight. What about this one? how slowly we can do this line with the stock motor uh, let's try that again So it's doable with the stock motor, that's for sure, just not exactly clean. Alright, so I'm going to put that upgrade motor in, we'll time lapse that and be right back. before we get into a time lapse here's the 130 motor next to a 050 motor so you can see one's quite a bit thicker sorry the wire is kind of in the way there and then the brushes are completely exposed in this motor but it can also breathe good too not great for mud but it should help keep it cool
I got that 90 turn motor installed as you've seen in the time lapse. I did cut it short because I had to figure out what I wanted to do with the ESC and everything. I was going to use these so that I didn't have to cut up the stock ESC tray being it's from my Betty. So being that didn't work I had to go and find my old deadbolt ESC tray. I'm sorry it doesn't look too pretty. This is just a temporary setup. But you do have to cut the ESC tray as you can see right there to clear the motor and then you're supposed to glue the ESC like this. So that's what I'm going to do maybe if I decide to keep this set up on here. I really want to try this motor in the uh, Enduro 24 and see what it can do. If you want to see that let me know down in the comments or maybe I can do a poll either way. But yeah so it's installed this isn't going to be glued down or anything. I'm just going to run it as is because, again, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it this way. If you're wondering why this ESC doesn't look new, well, it's actually off the deadbolt. I didn't want to fiddle with decasing and coating the uh, ESC that was in it. So I put this one in. It's already decased and it's already been coated with, uh, what is that, uh, conformal coating. So it shouldn't short out on anything and it should do just fine. So yeah, let's get to testing this motor and see how so it Check does. out the top speed on this 90 turn motor. That's pretty good. But I know what we all care about. How slowly can it crawl? This hill typically requires a little bit of wheel speed, especially with stock tires. There we go. Nice. Make it up this now, it does change the center of gravity a little bit too. Now there's more weight forward. Might not be enough to pull this off. Though. Your tires are good, but they're still the same compound as well. Let's try that again. Nah, these tires just don't have the grip. Nice. See, it does make it. Now let's try that crazy side hill stuff. The now let's try to get up this part of the hill real quick. I'll try to go slow, but as you've seen, these tires don't grip like RC four-wheel drive tires.
not perfect, but it made it up that. Now let's go over to this other spot. Let's do a quick little bonus line while we're over here. We're going to do this backwards too, just like we did with the stock motor. I'd say this has really good control for a uh, brushed motor. It is running the 10 tooth pinion too. So same as before with the stock motor, we're going to take this line backwards and see how well it does, how slow I can go. go. Let's come down through this. Okay, so what are my thoughts on this motor? It's a great motor. It's one of the best brushed motor setups I've tried in one of these so far. It's got the most torque. It's got great slow speed control even on a stock ESC and it has the wheel speed to get up over stuff when you need it. So, if you don't mind modifying it to put a new plate and, you know, different motor position, maybe move your electronics around, stuff like that, it's a great upgrade. So, I'll uh, link the motor down in the description below. That way you can pick yourself up a motor. I'll also link the motor plate. With that being said, as always, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't yet because subscribing is free and it really helps the channel out. As well as hit that bell icon so you're notified of whenever I post. I'll talk to you all in the next one. TTFN.